Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be teaching you on how to create a nested auto layout structure for your designs. You might have seen auto layout tutorials all across YouTube, so we will be upgrading that skill of yours and create multiple auto layouts. Without further ado, cue the intro. First thing we need to do is we have to create a frame. So select desktop or any frame that you wanted. Now the frame and our frame is ready. We will be creating the header for our table. Adjust your size, the height and the width so that it will be enough for the for your design. Let's lighten the background color for the header and add some border radius. Now we select our header titles and reduce the size to 18 which is the regular size for web applications. I'm just using here a basic uh, table information which are the name, age, gender, and the status just for this example. Now that we finished designing our table header, let's just reduce the uh, color of the headers. Just make it a little bit more grayish. There you go. Now we select the headers and then shift A. Now they are all in a auto layout. Now we have to dissect each of the table headers sections because they differ in the spacing, especially in the name. Name requires a longer space because names are more uh, names do have more characters than a gender and an age. So we'll just resize it for the status. Let's select it and reduce its spacing as well now that we have finished creating our header just select the header titles in the rectangle and save them into an auto layout. Now we can have a balanced and structured design for our header. It's now time to create the rows for our table. What we are going to do is we just have to copy and paste the header and add some modifications for our row content. So we'll just add a more darker background color for each row. What we'll do now is change the value of the name. So I'll just create a random name here which is Miriam Stephenson and adjust the spacing for the auto layout on our age, gender, and status.
this part, I had a hard time creating an auto layout for a status symbol. So what I did here is I take off the rectangle from the auto layout and created the auto layout from outside from the auto layout of the uh, rows. Now to create the status indicator, select both and then click auto layout or shift A for the shortcut key. Now we'll just adjust the color for this lighter background for the status indicator, lighter green and a darker green for the font. Now that we created our status indicator, we'll just resize it and we snap it back to the auto layout of the row. So adjust where you have put the uh, status indicator. Now you can see it is right beside for the gender and adjust the spacing to fit properly on the status table header. Now while you're done creating your first row, be sure to make it a component. This will be very helpful for you in the long run creating large data for your table. So just duplicate what you have created on the uh, table row and you can now change the values. I'll just speed up the process here. So as you can see, inputting new data values for the table is smooth as butter. Your design structure is always balanced and you do not have to resize it once, once you add a new data values. Because you have already arranged your designs from the first data row and duplicated your component, now it is very easy to rename all the data values. As you can see here, since our first row is our parent component, once we adjust the sizing for uh, a specific row, all the other components changes as well. So it, was, it is very easy now to adjust your design just uh, by just moving one component throughout your table. And lastly, to fully power our, our auto layout mod list, let's select all our components and child components, also the header, and create them into an auto layout. And now they are in an auto layout, you can now easily adjust the spacing for each component by just controlling the controller for the auto layout spacing. So also, it is a perk by adding a another row of uh, data values, you can easily just control C and V, copy and paste, and it will be added below. And once we deleted all other data values, the, the design is not also being compromised. It will, it will just be still and completely proper throughout the table. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Auto layout is such a powerful feature of Figma that can really improve the process in creating our designs. Let me know your thoughts about an auto layout and the design that I have created. I love reading comments that will help me improve so don't hesitate to leave them down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and see you on the next one.